Good day everyone. In today's video, we will be discussing business analytics and big data. Here are the topics to be discussed. Let us first define analytics. Analytics is the scientific process of discovering and communicating the meaningful patterns which can be found in data. It is concerned with turning raw data into insight for making better decisions. Analytics relies on the application of statistics, computer programming, and operations research in order to quantify and gain insights to the meanings of data. It is especially useful in areas which record a lot of data or information. What is business analytics? Business analytics is the iterative methodical exploration of an organization's data with an emphasis of statistical analysis. Business analytics is used to or by companies that use data-driven decision-making. Once the business goal of the ana analysis is determined, an analysis method uh, methodology is selected and business data is required to support the analysis. Data acquisition often involves extraction from multiple business systems and data sources. Then, cleansing and integrating data into a single repository such as a data warehouse or data mart. There are four fundamental types of business analytics. Descriptive analytics, diagnostic analytics, predictive, and prescriptive analytics. Descriptive analytics tells us what happened, which describes how things have changed over time. Diagnostic analytics does as our, uh, answers the question, why did it happen? Uh, which focuses or it focuses on the explanation of an event's occurrence. It necessitates hypothesizing and utilizes a large and diverse data set. In predictive analytics, it answers the question, what could happen in the future? It focuses on incidents that are likely to happen in the near future. And lastly, we have the prescriptive analytics which answers the question how should we respond to those potential future events this indicates that there is a strategy in place so what are the functions of these types of business analytics let us first discuss descriptive analytics to discover historical data Prescriptive analytics employs two main methods, data aggregation and data mining, also known as data discovery. The process of gathering and arranging data to create manageable data sets is known as data aggregation. These data sets are then used in the data mining process which identifies patterns threads, and context before being presented in a comprehensible manner. Remember that descriptive analytics does not seek to go beyond the surface data and analysis. Further research is beyond scope of descriptive analytics, and descriptive analytics observations are not used to make inferences or predictions. What information is derived from descriptive analytics? Descriptive analytics can provide us reports for inventory, workflow, sales, and revenue. It can also provide a social analytics like average number of replies per post, number of page views, average response time, and attitudes. The next type is predictive analytics. Predictive analytics is a form of advanced analytics that uses both new and historical data to forecast behavior 
and trends. It involves constructing predictive models that assign a numerical value or ranking to the likelihood of a particular event occurring using statistical analysis techniques, analytical questions, and automated machine learning algorithms. So how does predictive analytics work? Probabilities are used in predictive analytics. Predictive analytics aims to forecast potential future outcomes and the probability of those events using a range of techniques including data mining, statistical modeling, machine learning algorithms. Now, machine learning algorithms, for example, take existing data and try to fill in the gaps which the best or with the best possible guesses in order to make predictions. So what are the information that we can derive from predictive analytics? Predictive analytics allows executives and managers to make a more strategic, data-driven approach to business planning and decision-making because it can tell them what will happen in the future. Predictive analytics may be used for a variety of purposes including predicting consumer behavior and buying habits as well as detecting sales trends. Predictions can also help with supply chain, processes, and inventory demand forecasting. Lastly, we have prescriptive analytics. Prescriptive analytics is used to determine the best outcome of or to events given the parameters and to propose decision strategies for taking advantage of potential opportunities or mitigating future risk. This method is the third, final, and most advanced stage in the uh, business analysis process and the one that calls business to action, helping executives, managers, and operational employees make the best possible decisions based on the data available to them. So how does pre uh, prescriptive analytics works? Now, prescriptive analytics expands on what has been learned through descriptive and predictive analysis by proposing the best possible courses of action for a business. A variety of techniques and methods such as guidelines, statistics, and machine learning algorithms can be applied to available data from both internal and external data in order to make predictions and recommendations. Machine learning's capabilities far exceeds what a person would do while attempting to achieve the same performance. The following are information that can be derived from prescriptive analytics. Make recommendations in regard to which decisions will best take advance of future opportunities or mitigate future risk. Another is make it possible to consider the possible outcomes for each before any decisions are made and can have a real impact on business strategy and decision making to improve things such as production, consumer experience, and business growth. We now go to our second topic, which is big data. Let us first define big data. Big data is a collection of structured, semi-structured, and unstructured data collected by organizations and used for information mining, machine learning projects, predict modeling and other advanced analytics application. 
Big data is a massive collection of data that is growing exponentially over time. It is a data set that is so large and complex that traditional data management tools cannot store or process it efficiently. Big data is a type of data that is extremely large in size. Here are some examples of big data. First, we have the New York Stock Exchange. Now, the New York Stock Exchange generates about 1 terabyte of new trade data per day. Another is the statistics shows that 500 terabytes or 500 plus terabytes of new data get ingested into the database of social media sites like Facebook every day. This data is mainly generated in terms of photos and video uploads, messages exchange, uh, message exchanges, and putting comments. Another example is a single jet engine. A single jet engine can generate 10 plus okay, terabytes of data in 30 minutes of flight time. With many thousand flights per day, Generation of data reaches up up to petabytes. So, what are the different types of big data? We as uh, as we have mentioned earlier, we have structured, unstructured, and semi-structured. Now, structured data is defined as any data that can be stored, accessed, and processed. In a fixed format, unstructured format, or sorry, unstructured data is defined as any data with an unknown form or structure. And lastly, we have the semi-structured. Now, semi-structured is both types of data that can be found in a semi-structured data. Semi-structured data appears to be structured, but it is not defined in the same way that a table definition in a rational database management system is. So what are the characteristics of big data? So we have four characteristics of big data. Volume, variety, velocity, and variability. Now volume, the term big data refers to a massive amount of information. The size of the data is very important in determining the value of the data. Furthermore, whether a particular data set can be considered big data or not is determined by the volume of data. As a result, volume is one of the characteristics that must be considered when dealing with big data. The second characteristic is variety. Now, variety is the next feature of big data, which is diverse. The, the, term, the term variety refers to a wide range of data sources and data types, both structured and unstructured. Previously, spreadsheets and databases were the only data sources considered by most applications. The next is velocity. The term velocity refers to the rate at which data is generated. The true potential of the data is determined by how quickly it is generated and processed to meet the demands. Big data velocity is concerned with the rate at which data is ingested from sources such as business processes, application logs, networks, and social media sites, sensors, mobile devices, and so on. The data flow is massive in and continuous. Lastly, we have variability. Now, variability refers to the inconsistency that data can exhibit at times, impending the process of effective handling and managing data.
And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.